whatever. So many things happening. You know, Corey Feldman's Fel a friend, and mm -hmm. so many bad things happen to so many child starts. Absolutely. I don't know if it happened to you or not, but do you have a great uh, growing pain story, maybe with Brad Pitt there? And um, well, for the Brad Pitt story, one of the funniest things, I mean, most girls now would, of course, die for the chance to even shake his hand, much less get to sit in a movie theater and make out with him. Tracy was rather shy, um, very shy right. in, in particular. So she was too embarrassed to do the makeout scene with him. I mean, we had to actually convince her. Oh, talk I, her I into thought this is the fairy tale. You're going to go, that's where I volunteer. Uh -oh. Me, Jeremy. <laughs> no. no, there are some rumors out there, but that's <laughs> not quite the way I go at the moment. Yeah. Alan Thicke was making out with <laughs> Alan Thicke was making out with Brad Pitt. No, Alan was actually too busy with all the wonderfully beautiful women that he. Oh, you know, I know Alan. I know Alan. Alan, Alan had a smorgasbord at the time of of, of yeah. beautiful bevies that. Frequent and a lot show. of people don't know us about Alan Thicke, uh, and uh, his son is Robin Thicke, yes. uh, pop st star. Incredibly talented, amazing. And, you know, even back then, he was singing, he was dancing, he was, I mean... Oh, Alan was. Oh, Robin. Uh, Robin. Oh, and Robin Alan, was. Well, Alan's a writer. Oh, he, Alan has incredible talent when he, it comes I'm to music. I'm trying to think, he's got a bunch of songs that are from different shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Different Strokes, yeah, uh, he Facts of those. Life, tons of different no jingles, tons of different uh, commercials, talk shows, different things like that. He actually helped... Uh, write one of, um, I believe it was Barry Manilow's first uh, TV performances. And, and, and also, Alan, huge hockey fan. I think he was going to buy a hockey team. So being sport-related, Tailgate with Cato, he loves hockey. He actually plays hockey. He, he just had a full facial reconstruction because he took a puck in the jaw uh, about a year ago. Oh, uh, really? A little more than a year ago, actually. Shattered his jaw, knocked out most of his teeth. Wow. Um, but he, I mean, he still plays. Wow, okay. He's got no cartilage in his Tran knee. Tran took a puck in the it. ass, but that was <laughs> no, no, re no reconstruction surgery, though. Can't tell. Hey, what? And, I mean, did you really take a puck <laughs> in the ass? I don't know. Wow. Um, that, that, that's our, the internet. you know, yeah. for me, for me that means uh, laugh track, and for her it means nipples. <laughs> Mine means turn up the volume on the laugh track. <laughs> uh, so what was the, um, before I, I did the nipple joke, what was your fantasy then on the, uh, with Tracy Gold, that well, that I actually I had a huge crush on Tracy. Um, so, and so you were jealous of Brad. I was jealous of Brad. Absolutely, I was jealous I, I of any guy who got to make out with Tracy back then. That uh, is amazing. You know, I followed her around like a lost little puppy Aww. at that time. I mean, she actually it went to prom with Kirk. Broke my little heart, you know. And Kirk played your brother. Kirk, and played, Kirk Cameron played my brother, and oh. you know, they just went as friends. But she didn't have a date, and they were buddies, and she. So uh, your yeah. show's on how long? Uh, we did almost eight years. Seven eight years? years. We did Guy Code's been on nine, so it's, they've got you beat. They got us beat. And uh, well, she did the show when she was 12, yeah. uh, probably younger. Uh, lastly, when, you're, when Teen Beats and those magazines are so popular, what was it like for you quickly when you were so young, but still, did you realize you were getting hit on by women? Uh, it, was, it was strange, because I would notice it more with older women. Right. And that would happen occasionally. Uh, I was at a Bon Jovi yeah. concert. Yeah, it was rather strange. I was at a Bon right. Jovi concert during their New Jersey tour and had backstage passes to go meet the band and stuff and talk this to people. Is, and this is a better fairy tale story. Keep going with the woman now. So I end up in the back, you know, we're backstage in this very beautiful but older, probably in her early 50s lady recognized me and wanted to come up and she asked for a hug. Well, I, I always, I mean, I always, if somebody wanted a hug, you yeah, know, Yeah, like this. You go, hey, can I get a hug? Absolutely. You know, right. Of course. I love like, hey, let's just make out. Me. And then, then what did you ask for? Then, well, then, you know, then they may ask for a little more. Then there's something going on. <laughs> I gave her a hug, no big deal, and she started nibbling on my ear. I mean, like, I'm, like I'm 14. Nibbling? Oh, yeah, no. I, no, 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 no. I'm 14 years old, and I mean, she's, oh she's drilling with her tongue. I mean, oh, my God. Oh. 14. You're I'm 14. She had to have been, you know, 50. Oh, and still a very beautiful woman, but... You made her dream. Exa I was just going to say, this is like the latest fantasy. I'm going to sleep with Ben Seaver. <laughs> uh, ben, I'm going to make you scream. I, I and I mean a real it. scream, Ben. <laughs> ben, I'm going to make you scream! <laughs> Yeah. yeah, 14, though, you don't even know what's 14 years, well, I knew what was going on, but, you know, it, I was, uh, she was a little, uh, little out of see, my... See, see, now you got us going, now you got us going, and now, now Trans going, okay, now that we're talking, I, I got a story. I, I got, come on, let me. Got it. A sexual, God, I keep thinking sexual stuff. Well, detach, like how about it. tattoos now? <laughs> no, sexual, keep thinking sexual, that's much better for our show and the ratings. Um, Guys that do your tattoos, do they hit on you when you're doing tattoos? Like, let me ask you a question. Okay. Okay, you have tat how low does it go on your chest? Mm, not that low, well, right here. Okay, so when you're doing this, I have no tattoos myself. Mm -hmm. First, I just, I just don't do so, tattoos. Yeah. What, 
Wh are you on a table? I are am. You wearing a t are you naked? Are you topless or not? I wear a bikini top. Okay. And sometimes you'll have to unstrap because I have tattoos on the side as well. So let's go back to the hugging part. Anyway, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about the so ear? We just got to so cover. We tape. Tape the. And so are they hitting? You? Have you been hit on? Mm, most tattoos? most of them are my friends. But I don't care. They're they no they friend. don't hit on me. They don't. But there are a few ones. Oh, <laughs> these side tattoos. And um, some of them that I went to are new artists. Those are great. Oh yeah, that's okay. Thank so, you. Okay, so you're covering your uh, your boobs there, and um, yeah, you got a lot of tattoos. Just a little bit. I mean, there's a Just girls that have way more than me. You know what's funny is the great pictures. They really they really are gorgeous pictures, but they don't do you justice. Can we see them, live parts of them? Sure. Okay. This is, I, and tell me, I'm gonna point to a tattoo, and you tell me. No, I'm gonna point. I'm gonna ask you to tell me. Now, how much, is there more pain in this one or here? Is there different spots where the pain is more it's intense? It's all, all of, all of the side because you're laying on a, a table, like a massage table, like is the, on your side. Where the skin's like thinner always in the back, is that the most pain? I don't have any on my back. Oh, you don't? Just a little bit on my tramp stamp. You have a tramp, you know, you have stars there? And this is all, how many sittings? Oh, I've done it for 10 years now. It takes oh, you've a long done ten years. Time. Yeah. Just and building you're upon yeah, yeah. I have, a, I have a plan. It just takes a lot of time and money. You, and you guys didn't see this there because it's tailgating Cato. She has a basketball in the back by her uh, side here, and also a football. I just did that to the show. So, this is really interesting for me with the ten years. Your mom and dad. They hate it. They did. Well, we're gonna get a fairy tale story by the end of the show from you, right? All right. Because something's yeah. gonna pop in your head. Yeah, it will. I mean, are you, um, have a, you have a relationship? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> so you're, you... I'm, I'm single, yeah. You're single. You do yeah. stuff all, like, what's your night like, like, tonight, the weekends? I sit at home with a glass of wine with my roommate, and, and I cook her dinner. And I'm the, the housewife. Oh, you are? Oh, you yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm I cook and I clean, and she's... I but call you're into guys, dinner. right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I and love... Where was that number? The phone should be ringing. Love guys. I know. By the way, call we do get calls. Calls, yeah. We'll get a Skype at 855-4902-146. That's right. <laughs> 855-4902-146, or even Jeremy, can you can give a Skype question to him. Um, you guys know what a chubby bunnies are? Huh? Chubby bunnies. No. You ever heard of chubby bunnies? I've, I've heard the term, I don't. Chubby bunny uh, is not from Playboy. It's not a girl that didn't make the magazine. And if she oh. was, she'd be Miss March through June. Because she's chubby bunny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, kinda, I will show you sort of what chubby bunny is. And it's all is because of you. Yeah, you're, you kind of invented it. Chubby bunny. Well, I'll show you. <laughs> this is. Be careful. I was so bored that Be day. Be careful, those are very sharp as spears. Green <laughs> now, beans. Now you, those are green beans? Yeah. Good, because the spirit is really smells in yeah. the pee. Thank yes, God, you have a lot. You know what? It's, it's like, it's like Levy's going, anybody want a cigar? I'm lighting up for everybody. You are not bored. Everybody does that. Aisle three produce. Let me see again. Aisle three produce. Well, now you're starting to get into yeah. it. Now you're getting into it. We're gonna. This is what Chubby Bunny is. Thank God, Joni's here. She's gonna help us with Chubby Bunny. I burp because of my show. Chubby Bunny is a. Uh, what we do is, we're gonna see if Jeremy, Joni can help. Um, and of course, Levy. Uh, How many marshmallows can you guys pack in your mouth? Interesting. How many can. I'm going to put my money on Levy, not on Jeremy. You might have a point. I, I have a phobia you got your own of marshmallows. This is even better. Oh my this God. Even, you've got to do it. You've got to do it. Jeremy, can we. Will Joey play? I'm sure Joey. We got your own bag. Oh my I'm going to guess right now for Chubby Come Bunny. You guys got your own water. I'm only doing this because I love you. I really oh, have wow. a phobia of marshmallows. What's the phobia? I. From for breakfast in high school, I used to have Twinkies every morning. And they, have, okay. they have cream in it, and so I can't Wait. have cream. Okay, so no, I, I, I can explain how it works. Uh, I, I missed the real quick before I tell you the rules. Uh, marshmallows, your what's your? It's just I don't. Uh, okay. Creamy stuff in my mouth, like. Five, <laughs> five marshmallows have to go in your mouth at in the start. Five, five marshmallows, and while you have five, and that's the start, you have to be able to enunciate Chubby Bunny. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess we all go at the same time. All right. And Pete, I need a garbage can too. 
Well, actually, I probably I got to narrate. So let's get five in there. And Jody, five. You first. I got to talk. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, come now. on. <laughs> okay, start with three. Start with three. Oh, Levy's already at four. Start with four. Mm. All right, Levy, I want you. No, no chewing. You got to keep it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. so, okay, Jody. By the way, everybody, this is Jody, um, fiance mm. to Jeremy. Jody, let's see you say no swallowing. No, I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's go to Jeremy then. Chubby Bunny. It's harder than you think. We are. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. All right. <laughs> I thought I could. I heard it. Oh, yeah, they love you. What? Okay, two more marshmallows. Joey, are you stopping? All right, spit it out here. Spit it out here in the in, in garbage. We're gonna start. You guys gotta start this over. This is not. <laughs> I, I got a phone call coming in from Noah. Noah, what's your question? Oh. Well. All right. You know what? The caller just said. I'm doing the game room. The caller says you must start with two and say Chubby Bunny. Third um. goes in, and why you say Chubby Bunny? All right. I'll, I'll load you up. Not you, Jeremy. I'm loading. <laughs> Jody, come on. Let's make this sort of a romantic thing. Okay, Chubby Bunny now. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Yeah, you come. Okay, good. Three. What you do There's is you. No uh, you got to do exactly. You got to mm -hmm. make a hole. <laughs> Don't deep throw the marshmallows. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Waffle, waffle, waffle no, no, no. She does not swallow marshmallows. Uh, I'll let you place it. That's three, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's like chewing tobacco. It's like a sport thing. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Oh, you got it. four. Oh boy. I can't. Joni feed. I'll tell you what, the first person who gets the five get candles. Romantic candles? Uh, you're going to like these candles. They're 100, <laughs> bucks, 100 bucks a pop. Chubby bunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Chubby bunny. I can't do it. I can't understand that. Chubby bunny. All right. Can we get one more in, you guys? One more. That's it. Can you do one? <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I got to see this. It. Say it, Jeremy. Chubby bunny. What? You got to go here. So you, it's coming. Oh, my God. You got a shot of that. <laughs> I'll feed Jeremy one. <laughs> Not, okay, you place it. Place it. Mm -hmm. I don't want you choking. We got, we got people watching. <laughs> Chubby bunny. <laughs> Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. We got one. Okay. One. Jeremy said he wants to do one more. I can't believe that. He's crazy. Oh, hey, we got fans that want to watch the show. <laughs> the crowd loves you. Say it. Say it. One <laughs> more you can do it. No, nope, one more try. <laughs> Don't get sick. Where's the garbage can? <laughs> I think we have a winner here. Uh -oh. No. Show me, buddy. She said it. <laughs> Spit up. I love that chubby bunny. Wow. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. While you're spitting up there, yeah. Jeremy, you did a thing on uh, Good Morning America. I'm going to show a clip where you guys are spitting. we got people coming in to ask questions. We get a huge audience that always comes in to see us here at Tailgating with Cato. Nice. Um, and I was talking about Alan Thicke earlier. This is so uh, uh, Levy knows who Alan Did is. Did you ever of feel like you were in the shadow? Oh, not a bit. I mean, it was my older brother. I had the coolest older brother around. Do you feel like you grew up fast because of your job? Absolutely. Uh, you, you don't really have a choice but to grow up fast. We were always concerned about <laughs> our Word child wild. actors. It's an unnatural environment. Rebel yell. I know, but I had. <laughs> I was so. Uh,